How you doing, Gerard Failure here? How's everything? Today's auction, today's video is going to be about how to sell cars at the dealer auction. And I get this every now and then. Um, but today I was excited about it because I have a person, one of my reps, um, who called me up and said he got this car from down the block, a private owner. He got it at, a, his words, ridiculously low price. And we talked about it. I said, yeah, you can make a quick 1200 bucks, 1500 bucks, just by running it through the auction. Just by running it through the auction and, and getting, uh, and that's netting out his fees. The fees are going to cost him 130 150 to run it through the listing fee, the auction listing fee. The auction charges the seller a listing fee. And in this case, is the dealer rep, right, in the umbrella of the dealership. So if you're a dealer rep, then you're under the umbrella of the dealership. So the dealership is really doing the listing, all right? But anyway, officially. So you're going to take pictures of the car, and you're going to be prepared to, to send in 150 or so to have the car listed, right? Um, and then you're going to pay, of course, that 175 title because you have to do that as well with the dealer, paperwork for the car, all right? Because you've got to sign the back of the car. The dealership owns the car when you do this, okay? So... Follow with me. So my friend, my, my, my dealer rep gets uh, uh, the car from down the block, right? And he, he got such a great deal. I said, yeah, you can run it through the auction. No, I don't want to be bothered selling it. Blah, blah. Oh, okay, fine, no problem. Um, but how do you typically, how would you typically get cars like this? And this is what I want to talk about in the video. Yeah, you can put them to the auction. We want to talk about that. But how do you get them? You run ads on Craigslist. I've done this myself in the past successfully. Um, when you're looking for, this is before I got into auction access, actually, just before. I'm like, how do I get cars? I just put an ad on Craigslist, wanted ad. There's actually a section called Wanted. And I'm in Atlanta, so there's tons of people who are willing to sell anything. They're looking to sell everything. Headline in the Wanted by owner. I'm, I'm, I want this thing. I want a car. Headline, don't sell your car. I got cash. And in brackets, I will put... $2,750, $2, not quite $3,000. Sometimes I'll put $2,500. And in the body of the ad, I'll write something like, I need a car right now. I'm willing to pay just above dealer trade-in for your good quality vehicle up to blah, blah, blah price. Contact me today. If you can, please include at the bottom um, uh, your phone number, right? I like to deal with phone numbers. And this, give me your name and model of the car, and I'll do an appraisal, right? So that's the basic body of an ad. I'll go into more detail in my, I'm actually working on a, um, a coaching program. I'm going to be putting together a coaching program to show people how to do auction access and how to make money, how to do your marketing, how to select cars, how to get inventory. All that's going to be in my coaching program, which I'm working on, video coaching. That's coming out soon. But anyway, I'll go into detail on the actual ad content. But come up with a nice ad, a nice catchy title on Craigslist in your city. Wanted. Cars. And now when a person gets back to you, you get a ton test me. If you're in a nice size city, you get lots of people willing to sell their car. And they're willing to take excuse me, dealer trade-in. They're willing to date, take dealer trade-in. Because that's where your profit is now. Your profit is, you'd be surprised how much how much lower dealer trade is, dealer trading is versus a retail pricing or valuation of that same vehicle. Sometimes it's several thousand dollars. All right. So back to this this deal. Back to this deal. So uh, a person gets back to you, you, you visit them, they're in the neighborhood, you close the deal, the car seems okay, you give them the twenty five hundred bucks. Because you realize that that car now retail, you can probably get four or five thousand for it retail, but you're not gonna go retail. Right? You're gonna just drop it in the auction. You're gonna send the title over to Giovanni so he can send it to the auction, so it will be there, and uh, you'll either drive the car to the auction or have it delivered there, and uh, you're sending the pictures and stuff to Giovanni or to the dealer you work with, most likely Giovanni, Automotive Elite, right? Um, so, and that's how that's how that would work. Now, being that you got this at dealer trade-in, you know, when you respond back to the ads, you're going to say, here's the valuation of your car, and you're going to send them the link of your KBBB, your Kelly, Kelly Blue Book valuation. 
the trade-in value, and you offer them $100, $200 over. So if it says $2,500, you offer them $2,700, right? So this is a person who wants to sell their car quickly. They'll take a little bit of a hit, you know, uh, because they saw you an ad in Craigslist and say, you know what, I've been trying to get this car off my hands for a month now. I'll take a little bit of an L and sell this car quickly. You step in, you grab the car at below wholesale now, run it right to the auction, not have to try to sell it. And you can drop that car in the auction and have it sold the same week, and you put $800 to $1,000 in your pocket net because you got the car at dealer trade-in. Hope you followed all that, and I talked a little quick. I'm trying to keep this video short. It's almost six minutes now, five minutes, 45 seconds. So anyway, now once you got the car at the auction, right, you had it delivered there or you drove it there, whichever, you sent the paperwork into Giovanni, sent in the pictures and description online so that he can now send that into the auction, Mannheim Odessa. The vehicle is there, right? Now you're going to just tell him your reserve number. You figured that out already. You know how much money you want to take, how much money you need to make a profit. You want at least, if you're going to run a car in the auction, you know your cost of running a car in the auction is going to be between three twenty-five and four fifty for a typical car, right? That's going to be your cost as a dealer agent for running a car through the auction. So now, if you're willing to take a quick five hundred to eight hundred, then you can quickly figure out what your reserve has to be. And that's what you set your car at. It's got to hit this number, otherwise no go. Anything above that number, bidding, you take it. You see? And that's how you do that. Now, the only thing about selling a car through the auction, under our auction access program, is now, of course, the, the check goes to the dealer first. And then you'll get it back. Uh, but he doesn't hold any profit. doesn't hold any profit. You already paid him his dealer fee. So that whole check comes back to you. He may reissue it to your name. But... That entire money goes back to you, and the deals I work with, they're very prompt and very good with that. Okay, so I said it real quickly, everything, I gave you the whole shebang on how to run cars through the auction, and I showed you how you can get cars from your local neighborhood through Craigslist. You can use offer up whatever. Get these cars. Got to be at trade-in, dealer trade-in. Get Kelly Blue Book and make sure you're offering dealer trade-in, $100 over, $200 over. Show them the link. That way the person knows, they're agreeable. Another bonus, find out why they want to sell the car. Find out why. Ask first, why do you want to sell the car? And then repeat that back to them a couple of times. Well, I want to sell the car because, you know, uh, I don't need any more. My wife and I, we're retiring, blah, 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 blah. We're going down to Florida or whatever. Repeat that back once or twice. Yeah, I can take this car off your hands, sir. I know it's a little bit low than what you wanted to get for it, but at least you and your wife can have extra money when you retire down south, blah, blah, blah. You say it again when you're talking about the clothes, when you're there at the person's house. You exchange your money. You want it to feel good. You want them to feel good. You want to feel good about the whole transaction. But to open it up and to reinforce the deal, always give them back their words about why they're selling the car, right? Assuming that it's, of course, legitimate and reputable, all right? Eight minutes, eight and a half minutes. I hope this was helpful for you. Uh, give me a call. If you're ready to sign up for auction access, my number will be at the bottom of this fast-talking video.